What's up guys? Dragonfly Mike 77. I'm going to show you guys how to pack a Pico Bowl real quick. I say real quick because I'm not actually using this, but I have everything out. So, Alright, as always, stir your tangiers up. The first thing you want to do is shovel it in there like that. It's nice and simple. Packing this bowl is a lot easier than people make it out to be. Like, it, it's not hard at all. Uh, knock a little off. You can do the foil test on this. I'm not going to do it because, as usual, once you get used to packing it and you do it right, you don't need to do it as much anymore, especially on smaller bowls like this. You just kind of work it around, make sure it's nice and even. Dropping tangiers everywhere. And this is uh, Tangier Schnozberries, by the way. And it is absolutely delicious. Um, And that's it. That's literally all I do. And I will foil it real quick for you guys. That's it. Uh, make sure it's even. That's all you gotta do. Now it's not packed that dense. I know it's a little messy, but that's that's literally all you have to do. It's the easiest bowl in the world. What's so nice about this bowl, my favorite thing, one coal, that's all you need. When you're using coconut coals, that's all you use. You use one and you split it. So you just place two on there and then I throw a wind cover on to heat it up and you're done. Normally again, I do the holes a lot neater, but I'm trying to hurry for you guys, so. And just like any other Tangiers, lots and lots and lots of holes. That's what it likes, it likes to breathe. That's good. That's it. That's what it should look like. It's a piece of cake. Take the foil off and show you guys one more time what it actually looks like. As you can see, it's basically to the rim. It's not packed as dense as I do other bowls, but that's how you pack it. Nice and simple. Alright, that's all I got. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, guys, peace out.